I start my new rotations in Michigan. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited today. I'm sitting on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why, guys. Um, it's Sunday, April 16th, and tomorrow I start my new rotations in Michigan. <laughs> Okay, so I have been working on this since before I left for Chicago and I wanted to be 100% sure that it was a go um, before I said anything, just so like I didn't say it and then it didn't happen. I would have been crushed. Um, and I know I've like brought you guys along this journey with me to Chicago and it's been, <laughs> it's been rough. Um, so I went on a trip with my mom last week to see um, some family, which was like kind of close to Chicago. So we stopped there and got like some of my stuff on the way back really quickly. Some of the stuff that like want, that I want here um, where my boyfriend and I live. So I got that stuff, like my bathroom stuff, like some food um, and the rest of my like work clothes and shoes, stuff like that. But like the rest of the other stuff, uh, we'll have to go back and get that hopefully soon. Anyway. So today um, is Sunday and I start my, <clears throat> excuse me, my family medicine rotation on Monday. So um, I have like about a 40 minute drive in the morning. I wanna make sure that I have breakfast and lunch ready to go and a snack uh, or two. Um, I'm also going to pack my gym bag for after work. Um, just, I don't know what my schedule is gonna be. I'm assuming it's like a Monday through Friday type thing. I don't know. Um, but I'm thinking by the time I get out, I will have, um, there'll be traffic. So I'll let the traffic die down by going to the gym and then I'll drive home. Um, so yeah, right now I, it's, what time is it? It's 11.48, so I woke up at like nine something, watched church and stripped the beds like I did all of the things. Um, I'm doing all the Sunday things. I'm doing laundry right now. I think I have like a couple of loads left. I need to go to Costco to get gas um, or somewhere to get gas. And I think I wanna get some stuff for lunch um, at some point in this video. I wanna do my nails. This company sent me some really great nail stuff. My nails are getting so long and strong. I'm, I think I might trim them a little bit because they're getting a little out of hand. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm very excited for today. So I need breakfast right now. Um, what else are we going to do today? Breakfast. Oh, I have all those. I have two boxes in the garage that I need to organize stuff. So we're going to just like get very organized during this vlog. I'm very nervous. Um, every time I start something new, it's very nerve wracking. Um, Jesus be with us. <laughs> That's all I can say. I think you guys will remember this thing from my parents' house. We went there yesterday. It was my mom's birthday yesterday, and I took this thing, and I love it so much. I'm very happy that it's here. The reason why I took it from my parents, you guys saw that it's like a little like um, condo area down there um, that I used to live in, and no one's down there anymore, so it's like I just am slowly accumulating all of my favorite items from down there so let's make breakfast and i kind of want to show you guys the fridge too i'm like doing spring cleaning mixed with like this huge transition in my life right now so it's very exciting and it's been a long time coming and it's beautiful outside
tomorrow? Yeah, I'm excited. I keep it. I keep it. Okay. The dryer just went off. Perfect timing. So, first order of business, well, second after breakfast, is we got a package in the mail. So, I'm going to go put this away with the rest of the books. And then I'm going to switch over the laundry and see what else we have to do upstairs. I have to pack my bag for tomorrow. It doesn't say in the instructions, instructions, in like the starter pack or whatever you wanna call it, um, what to bring. So we're just gonna bring everything that I have been bringing to all the other spots and hopefully that's enough. And if not, I will find out tomorrow. <laughs> After my last rotation so here she is I need to get the one with my school logo on it but I have yet to get that so we just need a short white coat it didn't say anything about attire so we'll just bring this anyway um, so in my pocket I've got really what I need in here is my pull socks so we get people's um, oxygen saturation and their pulse using this i've got some alcohol pads in here some gloves band-aid and a tampon <laughs> and that's about it in this pocket in my other pocket oh, i need to go get a tiny little notebook today i need to make a note of that i always like to keep a notebook with me to like write little things down that i learned throughout the day um i like to be prepared for that always so on this side i've got a pen always a highlighter and then i've got this maxwell's quick medical reference i love this book hopefully it focuses hello okay if it didn't focus if you guys are in the medical field at all this book is great for quick reference it's got a eye exam on the back and then a ruler as well which is great um, and it's got like a little bit of everything in here how to take a history and like how to admit someone helpful equations um, stroke scale normal values for labs like uh, delivery note postpartum APGAR it's got a lot of stuff in here and it's so tiny I think this was like seven dollars so I will link this below um, on Amazon so that goes in this pocket I should put an extra pen in this pocket as well and then so I'll keep this on the hanger and then I've got my blood pressure cuff here which I needed for internal medicine um, so I'm gonna take this with me just in case and then I've got my stethoscope here and I can link all this below uh, I'm pretty sure you can get all this on Amazon this was a gift but I'm pretty sure you can get them there and then this cuff I had a different one um, and then when I started family medicine they no, when I started internal medicine, one of the doctors that was already there was using this one and it's so nice. You can, you don't have to clip this part if you're familiar with blood pressure cuffs. You don't have to clip this part to anything. You hold it all in one hand. So you can quickly like let out the pressure. So you tighten it here like this, inflate and then slowly release like this. It's really nice. You can do everything in one hand. Um, I know some of the old school ones like this part has to be clipped to somebody and then it like hangs like this and you can't see what's going on so this is really nice to have everything in my hand so we've got that is gonna go with me I'm gonna have a lunch bag as well and then this Marc Jacobs bag I've had like forever I'm deciding whether I want to use this or like a zip long champ bag 
I've got two here now, a white one and like a lime green one. I'm kind of thinking I want to switch to that one just because it zips and I don't know where I'll be at, like who I'll be around, you know, like it's just everything is new. Let me get that out and see if I want to switch. And this bag is great, but you see these little like tie things, one of them is the stitching came out i think it's this one and every once in a while this part will just like come off so honestly yeah i'm gonna clean my long chair bag and use that one instead of this one so. So this is what it's looking like after I cleaned it. This is everything in here. I'm happy because it'll be zipped up. I don't know where I'm going. This is my first time going to this location in this state for this purpose. So I wanted to make sure it was zipped up. Obviously if someone's gonna take something from you, like it's not really, <laughs> you just take the whole thing. But if it's like easily accessible, like my other bag, you could just, it was just like a magnet that was holding everything together. So we're gonna go with this. This is like super light, so I just took a Clorox wipe to it. It did okay. Um, I have a white one that's like really rough. So I went with this color. What I'm gonna need to do eventually probably is get a, a black one of these. It's a really sturdy bag. I've had it for years and I love it. So we've got that ready. My white coat is right here. I put an extra pen in there. Um, like patients need to sign forms and stuff and this is my pen that like I touch all the time um, that I don't give to anybody but like I like to have another one in there for others so we've got that um, I put this ID badge on there because I um, why Sarah because <laughs> I don't have an ID badge from um, the new place yet. I don't think I'll get one just because I'm doing family medicine, but when I go back into the hospital, I'll get a new ID badge. Then I've got my outfit picked out over here. I always wear the same thing, like whenever I start a new rotation, it's just, it's my thing. So I wear this short sleeve black and white. I've got black dress pants. I'm wearing black boots, like little booties. And then either this cardigan, depends on how I feel tomorrow, this cardigan, but it's going to be cold again. Or, um, this quarter like button it like looks very nice um i love this thing and then it's also reversible so it's black on this side and then like a dark gray on this side so i'll wear the black out tomorrow and then like probably like a thin coat and i just stepped on my phone so yeah this is ready so i'm gonna go to the grocery store here i'll turn you guys around so i'm gonna get dressed i have to go get gas and return something at Costco for a bigger size. I got a really cute skirt from there, like a golfing skirt, cause I golf so much, right? It's just like, it has shorts underneath, it's so cute. I can grab it really quick. Oh, I'm going to put my phone charger in my purse too, I'm gonna do that. Um, so yeah, this really cute skirt from Costco it's a small and it fits, but I like want it to fit a little looser. When I start walking, my hips are wide and you know, my took is and it just like slides up a little too much for my liking. So I'm going to take it back and hopefully they have a medium. They had this color, which I love this like beige. Obviously I love <laughs> neutrals. Um, so they had beige, beige, baby pink and like black, I want to say in blue. So I'm gonna take that, get gas. Cause I don't know if I told you guys, I have like a 40 minute drive tomorrow. I'm gonna leave really early. So uh, I know where to park and like where I'm going and everything. Um, what else do I need to do? Oh, I need to go get that notebook. So I might go to Target as well. And I want to get some like lunch items um, to take with me for this week. Today or yesterday was my mom's birthday, which I think I mentioned to you guys. Um, we had 
burgers and I was gonna take that with me um, but it might be easier to just like do lunch meat type of stuff I don't know we'll see what I can find at the store so yeah I'm gonna get dressed and then we will go run our errands for the day or oh, I might go to Trader Joe's we'll see <laughs> okay this is the outfit of the day can't really see Put you down a little bit. I shouldn't have put it up so high. I don't know why this is gaping because, like, it's not like I have big boobs, like, there's a lot of room. Um, this little linen romper thing in my bag. I'm going to take my socks off, obviously. Um, it's supposed to rain at like 3, it's 1 37. So, we're gonna go to Costco first and return this skirt, get some gas. Um, and then either go to Walmart and or Trader Joe's on the way home. And then, yeah, I think we will be almost ready. Oh, I need to do my nails too. Maybe my eyebrows. We're back. It was a terrible idea to go to the store on a Sunday, number one. Number two, it started raining, like literally as soon as I left the house. I got on the highway and it started raining. Um, I almost blew over in the grocery store parking lot, but that's okay, we made it home safely and in one piece so right now oh i got some new pants like work pants they're so cute from costco i got this i exchanged the skirt it's not gonna work the fit is just wrong like where it like dips in at like my lady bits and then like how i like to wear things high-waisted it's just like built for a different body type and that's totally fine so i got a pink one and i exchanged it for the tan one i'm just gonna return both of them um, which it's totally fine. I just need to bring the receipt upstairs right now and ugh, bring the receipt upstairs right now and put it in the pocket again so I can return those next week sometime. So right now I'm gonna put away the stuff that I got. It's just like some food stuff for lunch and then we're gonna do our nails at some point today and then I need to edit videos until eight o'clock because that's when Love is Blind Live is coming out. So I'm gonna go do that. We'll do our nails together and then I think that'll be the end of the video. Okay. It's now 518. We're losing sunlight. I've got two of these small boxes. One is like kitchen stuff slash food stuff. And this one is like hair stuff and cleaning stuff. So I've already, this was looking so crazy under here. So I got these little organizers from Marshalls and we're just gonna add to what I have and throw out the rest of the stuff. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you've been through. Why you got scars. Since you walked through the door, I've been trying to reach you. Cause I feel you. What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb. Think I've heard it before in a movie Okay, so this is a mixture of everything that was in Chicago mixed with like some things that I wanted for my parents' house for like when I dye my hair. So I guess we'll like start in the back. Pads, smaller pads, the biggest ones on the bottom wall you can't even see. And then we've got liners here, heated pad, more pads there, some hair stuff in the back. All across the back, my hair dyeing stuff, my other blow dryer. I had these. Um, <clears throat> sorry, I just ran up the stairs. <laughs> Q-tips. Um, what are these called? Like toothpicks, I guess. Stuff for my nails, like a random bin with like face mask stuff in it. Um, sometimes I will shower over here if my boyfriend and I are, we say we both just got home from like, an event together, we both want to shower really quick. 
I'll shower over here. So now I have like literally pretty much everything. I have um, body wash back there, like deodorant right here, and then body lotion as well. So I'm like totally set over here. And then anybody that comes and stays, um, usually like his mom or dad, because um, my parents are closer, they can use any of this stuff under here as well, which is really nice. I've got some nail stuff right here and some tweezers, some little um, jewelry right here. And then in this one, I have no idea what's in there, like hair stuff maybe, I don't know. Oh, all my like toothbrush, toothpaste, like all that other stuff's in there. So yeah, it looks very nice and organized under here and I love it. There's also these drawers right here that have like random stuff in it, like shower caps and stuff to easily, that I can assess, access easily. I'm so tired, I have no idea why. So, now we're gonna do our nails really quickly and finish the video out. Okay, we're on the last aspect of the video today, but potentially, no, it is the most important, my nails. So, I got an email from this company called Nail Reserve, and they're from LA. They are new, vegan, healthy, cruelty-free, with affordable nail polish is their gel nail polishes and I picked out a couple thank you nail reserve for sending me these beautiful colors I got three colors a base coat and a top coat and then they were so kind and sent me the UV lamp as well and I will get you guys a um, well I will get you guys I have a 50% off discount code for you guys and let me find it I just took a picture of it there's a link, I'll put that in the description box below for you guys. Obviously, because I want you to get your hands on these super cute colors. Um, and my discount code for 50% off is Miss S. Craig, um, capital M, capital S, and capital C. I will put that on the screen right now. And I'm going to show you guys the cutest little package that it came in. And then we're going to do our nails. Okay, how cute is this? So, my address is <laughs> on this side, but you open it like this. And then, why is it so blurry? Okay, and then you open this, and I just took like some of this off right here. Um, but it's in here all cute, so I think this is the top and the base coat, and then we've got like pink, this chocolatey brown, and then a nude color. And then on this side, which I think opens, yeah, like this, if I can open it. It basically opens the same way, just the opposite direction, and that's the little UV lamp, so I'll get that out. Okay, so this side opens just this way, like this. So you've got a box here, and then another little one there. More filling, and then we've got the little tiny lamp. So, I don't have like a ton of stuff to do my nails with. I just clipped them. I'm just going to shape them and make them like a bit more square. And then we're just going to go ahead with it. I'm going to turn a YouTube video on and... I'll show you guys what they look like when I'm done. Guys, I'm shocked. That took me maybe like 10 minutes, 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. My nails are so cute. You guys see that color? That's adorable. So the color that I'm wearing right now, in case you guys wanna get it, is called For A Lady. This is what it looks like. So I got For A Lady. I got this really cute pink color, Electric Rose. And then a brown color, Italian Latte. I wanted really nude colors that I could wear um, like to work. So these are adorable and I have the top and the base coat. So I was really nervous when I started because I tapped it. So I like did the top coat and I cured it. So I used the UV lamp. And then I did two layers in total of the For A Lady. But in between I actually tapped the nail and it was wet. And I was like, oh my God. But by the time I got to the top coat and I, um, the no wipe top. By the time I got to the top coat, everything was like completely hard and amazing. So I always go like, <laughs> I can't color inside the lines. 
So hopefully by the time I shower and everything, they'll be pretty darn perfect. But right now I love them. They look way better than what they did look like. I'm not exactly sure um, how to get this off. I'm assuming I'll have to soak them in pure, what is this, acetone to get it off. I don't know. Um, but when you get to that part of life, I will be sure to let you guys know. This stuff is amazing. It's vegan, cruelty free. Make sure you guys get your hands on this. This stuff is great. Yes, it says vegan on here, cruelty free, and something else. Something free formula. I don't know what that is. But yeah, super cute. Make sure you guys check out the link. I'll leave it below. Um, this is the end of the video. Everything is done. I just need to make my lunch early and like obviously my coffee in the morning and breakfast. But yeah, I'm very excited and I'm so excited to share this like new journey with you guys. And I moved. Okay, make sure you guys um, subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.